Alright, hey guys, uh, this is the uh, third installment of the Arduino uh, Home Automation Guide. Alright, so I'm going to walk you through the wiring first, alright? And here is my wiring mess. Um, ignore all that, it's not that complicated. It's just in the testing phase right now, so there's a lot of unnecessary stuff. So I'll uh, upload a uh, wiring schematic next week. But right now, this is connected in uh, to the uh, uh, receiving end of the Arduino, and there's nothing on the sending end. And then there is um, two wire coming out for the. Uh, this is an X10 module, X10 send and receive module, and that's plugged into the Arduino. And then this uh, is a uh, appliance module which uh, is plugged into a heater that the Arduino is going to use the X10 signal which X10 uh, travels to power line so um, this heater can be anywhere really in the house and it would receive the signal and uh, those two pins are wired to the Arduino and then the uh, the uh, another pin that's connected to the Arduino is the lock right here which uh, is actually uh, a relay through a transistor so the transistor send power to the relay which unlocks this lock which this lock is a 12 volt and so is the relay so I could theoretically skip the relay and just open the lock straight but I just want to show that using a relay work to safer and I can use this relay to power anything really like um let's say I want to uh, power a light bulb a uh, 60 watt light bulb would work because this relay is uh, rated at 120 uh, volt is uh, 10 amp so it is fully capable of uh, lighting a light bulb or switch any kind of appliances so for now we're just uh, unlocking this uh, which is 12 volt uh, DC okay so I have four RFID tag right here and these two doesn't do anything the black one and these this is a code and this is the key so uh, the key will unlock the lock of course the code will uh, light up the heater here uh, I'll find a uh, an actual lamp tomorrow and test it with the lamp but right now it's testing it with a heater and these doesn't do anything so I'm gonna be reading it with uh, the RFID tag right here Bloop and nothing happened because these doesn't do anything so um, when I have the LCD hook up to the other uh, uh, different uh, the Citrino Mega it will output actually output something but right now I haven't gotten time to uh, hook that up yet plus I'll if I want to hook it to this I'll have to use software serial and I'm trying to avoid that so that one doesn't do anything this one doesn't do anything either but you can see it reads uh, the signal like uh, it's red and then it turns green when it reads okay and then it flushed the code so alright here's the uh, code which uh, turn on the heater and you can see there the heater is on and you can hear it trips the relay earlier in the uh, module and alright so if I use the code again it cuts it off so you it, it does um, I program it to remember the state of the uh, state of the uh, heater uh, and that's just a boolean so uh, it changes over uh, if it's on or off and here's try again and it turns it on and then we're gonna turn it off there it goes so the code worked and now let's try the key here which you can see the locking mechanism and here's the key code so click and it unlocks there you go and it's unlocked right and here's the key code again to lock you can hear the click that's the relay pulling this and here it is lock so there's the key 
unlock the house right there and here's the code that will turn on the heat of course um this is just the early implementation uh eventually i will be uh, incorporating that with my ethernet shield as you saw in part one which i can use let me turn this heater off here okay sorry um so i will be implementing the uh Ethernet shield so you can unlock and lock the house with uh, just the internet or through the browser on your phone or whatever or you can unlock the house using an RFID uh, card which is uh, also useful if you uh, don't have internet access at the time or you know it's faster that way than having to go to the browser or if uh, someone who doesn't have a uh, smartphone can just uh, get a co code like so and I, what I will be doing implementing is a database so the uh, code here uh, like let's say a gardener or a maid will uh, I can set the code so that it only opens the door on certain day of the week or certain time of the day of the week so like let's say your maid only comes a uh, Tuesday and Thursday uh, you know three to five to do laundry then you can set the code in her key card that way so she can only come and do it that time if she doesn't come you can of course uh, send yourself an email uh, and say hey uh, she didn't come that time that week and it will lock her out, uh, out the other time so she don't get paid for that time of course you can also see that the laundry didn't get done or if uh, like your gardener, you know, he's supposed to mow the lawn once a month and you can set a code to your, um, your where you keep your, like garage, uh, garage door. So he can only open the garage door and not all the other door in the house. So that could be useful for a smarter home. So um, what I'm trying to implement is a very smart home that everything will be controlled by either internet um smartphone uh browser or uh rfid tag of course the uh, i will be leaving all these switches as well in case you're old-fashioned all right thank you very much and um the next installment should have oops see just the uh sensitivity on the uh this parallax reader is pretty good it's uh, about three or four inch away from the the actual reader and it reads so that's pretty good I can actually leave it behind a door and you can just swipe the card around the side of the door or in front of the door you know and it doesn't have to be like two or three centimeter away it's actually three or four centimeter so it's um it's pretty good so um that's it for now um next week should be more interesting because more parts are coming and I do have a lot more, um, uh, a lot more uh, modules for X10s, and uh, I'll have the Ethernet shield should be up by then. It's just the programming for that and the PHP and the uh, MySQL database is not working well yet. But uh, if you have any uh, uh, concern, uh, if you want to learn more about it, um, give me a email or. You can uh, go to our um, uh, our IRC channel, uh, free node, and under the, uh, the the server is free node, and the uh, channel is um, home automation or Arduino or uh, practical Arduino. Thank you very much. I'm in there most of the time. Thank you.